Alrighty, we're multiplying fractions. And when you multiply fractions, you can solve this two ways. The first way I'm going to show you is you just multiply straight across. You multiply the numerator times the numerator, the denominator times the denominator. Um, and you don't have to find a common denominator. That's only when you add and subtract fractions. The second way I'm going to show you might be a little bit easier, and I'll show you why. Uh, these are big numbers here. I'm going to time how long it takes me to do this problem here. Now, the first thing I'll do, like I said, is I'm going to multiply the numerator times the numerator. So we get 42 times 36. And that's not something I can necessarily do in my head. So I get 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to carry the 1 there, 24, 25. Um, write a 0 for a placeholder. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Um, now we're going to add these. This is 2. 11, we're going to make that a 5, and that's a 1. So 1,512 is my numerator, and then I have 81 times 49. I'm going to have to do the math for that too. 81 times 49. 1 times 9 is 9. 8 times 9 is 72. <sighs> Zero, four, eight times four is thirty-two. I love math, but I mean, come on, this is taking too long. Nine, two and four is six, seven and two is nine, that's three. Three thousand nine hundred sixty-nine is the denominator. Is it in simplest form? That's a good question. Let's see, let's add up the digits here. Three plus nine is twelve, plus six is eighteen, plus nine is twenty-seven. 3, 8, 9, well these can both be divisible by 9, so I have to divide 1512 by 9, I have no idea what that is, so I have to do the math out, 1512 by 9, then goes into 15 one time, 15 minus 9 is 6, that's going to bring down the 1, so we get 61 there, 9 goes into 61 6 times, 9 times 6 is 54. All right, that's 7. I'm going to run into my clock here. Bring down the 2. That's 72. And that'll go in 8 times. So 168 is my new numerator. Still got to get my denominator, though. So it's 168 over. 3,969 divided by 9. Let's see. 3,969 divided by 9. And that goes into 39 four times. I get 36. I get 3. I get another 36. That goes in four times. And 4 times 9 is 36. So it'll leave me with 0 there. And I can bring down that last 9. That'll go in now one time. We get 441 for a denominator. Let's see, is this in simplest form? The sum of the digits here is 9. The sum of the digits here is 15, so they can be divided again, this time by 3. Okay, we're going on over 3 minutes with this problem. 3 into 168. That's going to be my new numerator. 3 goes into 16 5 times. That's 15. I get 1. I get 8. I want to bring that 8 down, so I get 56. Yikes. Imagine if you made a mistake too with this. I mean, there's a lot of chances with your if you don't know your multiplication facts. 441 divided by 3. Holy smokes, this is taking a while. All right. Oh, come on. 3 goes into 4 one time. That's 3. Bring down the 4. That's going to be 4 times. And I write messy so I can make a mistake there. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bring down that last one. We get 21. 7 goes into 21 three times. 143. Is it 56 over 143? I don't know. It looks good. Uh, some of the digits here is 8. Some of the digits here is 11. So I don't think that'll work. I know 7 is a factor of this one, but I don't think 7 is a factor of 143. So I think this was it, 56 over 143.
and we did in about four and a half minutes. Not not bad, not bad. Four and a half minutes, you know. We'll uh, we'll write that down on the next slide here. So let's see. We had four and a half minutes. I'm just going to use that as a point of reference. Yikes, that took a while. All right, faster way, shortcut, and here we go. So right at the beginning of the problem, if I just cross reduce, what that means is I know that seven goes into 42, so I could reduce this and divide that by seven, make that a six. And then if I divide this by seven, make that a seven. It's gonna be a lot easier now to multiply these numbers. Not only that, I know nine goes into 81 nine times, and nine goes into 36 four times. So if you look at here, I mean, this is like cupcakes. Six times four is 24, and then seven times nine is 63. Now I could have also reduced it. If you look right here, the six and the nine, I could have divided by three again, because you can see both of these things are gonna be divisible by three. And if I do that, I get eight over 21. And that is actually the simplest form for this problem, eight over 21. Now, if you notice, going back to that last slide, did I get 8 over 21? No. If It looks like I could have divided this by 7, and I probably made a mistake somewhere along the line, and, and this should be, um, you know, this should be divisible by 7, but it wasn't, and I made that, that error. So, um, just goes to show you, you know, when you cross-reduce, you make those numbers smaller, it makes it easier for you. You won't have to make that silly math error. Just a couple more problems just to show you what's going on here. So I can reduce the 5 here, make that a 1, make this number a 5, whoops, make this a 3, make this 7 right here a 1, and then it's pretty simple, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5. Like I said, you can sometimes just reduce going this way, so if I made this a 1, this a 2, I can't reduce anything on this other side, 1 times 5 is 5, 9 times 2 is 18. And I'm done. It makes life easy in terms of putting in simplest form, and it makes life easy just in terms of doing the multiplication.